Hello everyone, it's Matt again, and hey, it's been a hot minute since I actually had something to show on the channel. If you've, followed, if you've been following for a little while, you've noticed why I was having some trouble with my old laptop. And well, the initial plan was to just go ahead and, you know, uh, fix it. I wound up saving and waiting for a little bit longer and got a new laptop instead. So, yeah, big upgrade. As you can see, we are now at 60 frames per second. <laughs> at a slightly higher no slightly higher resolution resolution and yeah this isn't doom because this is quake but it's not the regular quake that i want to play today oh no so there's a sport called iron Whale. yeah first heard of it for a, a little while ago on dump truck bs's channel and well that's how i caught wind of it and i thought it was really cool and i really wanted to play some stuff with it and well it's really cool indeed but i wasn't really able to record it both because i thought the machine was a little bit weak and i also didn't really think uh well there was the whole issue with my laptop not picking up any sound so yeah but this new laptop i can actually play this stuff and yeah it has a couple of mods that you can download and yeah just launch them for here which is really cool so yeah there's this QPJ mod though, which I'm really interested in. It comes with no demos, which is a bit of a shame. But it also comes with a small gameplay mod called Copper. I don't really know a whole lot about Copper, but what I do know is... Yeah, this is all very beautiful. And... Okay. This is not my first time playing the Quake Realist Gem, which is the name of the whole QBJ stuff. But this will be my first time actually recording it. So I picked the second skill, which is normal, and just uh, get a look at, yeah, just like drink all that stuff in. Okay, so there's this map here. I don't really know how much you're actually progressing it without breaking it and no clipping, but this one. I did play this one just to test my machine a little, and it's pretty flat. However, it has no music. And I was probably thinking of another map. This one is fine, but it doesn't have music playing, so that's kind of lame. So let's go back to the beginning. Big skill. Well, the normal skill, and I'll jump over to this concrete. Because, yeah, this is much nicer, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't played Quake in a very long time, so I'm kind of rusty at it. But I'm doing this mostly just to show off a little bit if you yeah I think that's a good oh there's a dog here yeah so I just want to get a bit of a benchmark going on for the channel because going forward I'm gonna be playing more than just doom okay there's a number that I want to get here yeah thank you Yeah, so going forward with the channel, it's gonna be more than just Doom. There's still gonna be a lot of Doom, don't worry about that. It's just not gonna be the main focus. Well, it's still gonna be the main focus, but um, now I can actually play a whole lot more stuff. And boy, does it feel good to actually play Quake after so long. And our reel is also amazing really optimized well beyond it being really optimized well it's just fun to play you know okay you heard that no two of them so yeah I did play a little bit of this map and got a really good feeling about it so I just went well just went and felt it would be a good play to really well, just show up what you guys can expect from me in the future. This music also goes really hard. 
Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, as I was saying, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit more to just do in the channel. I wanna cover a little bit of quake modding as well. Now if quake is gonna be my main thing, I don't think it will. It's more of a well, another thing I can do, I suppose. Yeah. That being jump scared me a little bit. So yeah, I I also wrote up playing in a lot of quake. So hopefully. So hopefully you guys are cool this shoe. Because well, at the end of the day I just want to play stuff I like and play is also a game I really like. So yeah. I uh, gotta get used to bunny hopping again. It's been a while since I did this stuff. But yeah. Really, really solid stuff here. And I'm also something of a newcomer to the Quake scene, so. Okay. Uh, I need a cool gold key card. All right. Okay, now where was it again? Oh, I heard that. Yeah, spawns. Only two more to go. And that's okay. So, Copper makes a couple of slight changes to Quake's gameplay, from what I understand. Uh, most of all, it makes certain monsters less annoying to deal with. Okay. Okay. So, I'll also probably get the Thunderbolt at some point in this map. Okay. Yeah, Quake is pretty fun. Like I said, I also played a lot of Quake growing up, and I've been sort of keeping a bit of an eye on its modding scene, but not like to nearly the extent that I did that doing the Doom modding scene, really. Like, as you might know, I also map for Doom. There's that map I showed in the previous... I should really, sh really should get that... Yo, know, key card gold key card. I really don't remember where it is. So yeah. Yeah, jumping is a little bit pinky here. There we go. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty involved in the, with the Doom modding community. Uh, right here. But the Quake modding community is very much the opposite. I am really not involved with it at all. I just watched a couple of videos on on Dump Truck BS's channel, and that's pretty much everything I know about Quake. Modern Quake modding, I mean. Playing a little bit riskier than I would like, but I'm also getting used to it. Did I get that? Okay, I did. Oh yeah, and the music? Really cool music in this map. I understand that not all maps... I heard something... flopping right next to me? Not sure what that is all about. Oh yeah, there's the ogre up there. I'll just ignore him. You want to get a little bit of health going on? There we go. So yeah, my whole experience with the Quake modding community is pretty much non-existing, non-existent, and what's this? Incredibly lame secret discovered. Uh, don't be so hard on you. 
Nah, yeah, don't be so hard on you, Matt, bro. I understand. Sometimes you just want to put at least once you're creating your map and you really have no idea where to do with it, what to do with it. So you just like stuff like a random item somewhere. Oh, yeah. Copper also makes. Copper makes. It's so the ring of invincibility. Invincibility actually reduces the accuracy of monsters just like the partial invisibility does in doom which is pretty cool okay and yeah i dealt with a shimmer here okay sequence completed i'll be taking that thank you very much oh yeah ogres can now actually sort of shoot in the Z axis, which is important because in vanilla quake, they will just like if they were like in a yeah, if they were like over your head, they will just like keep shooting. And yeah, that was not really challenging at all. And the warp balls, they are actually dodgeable now, which is very welcome. So yeah, just a couple of things I have noticed while playing. And what I think it's like... Oh. Yeah, I think I've been playing this for a little bit. Over, I don't know. Maybe... 10 minutes-ish? Something like that. So, yeah. Quake Realist Gem. That's something you can expect to see me playing on the channel with some regularity going forward. Oh, yeah, kind of an important thing that I neglected telling until now, but since I'm doing the whole, you know, one video a day, it's gonna take a little while for me to get the backlog going, so don't bear with me. Because once I'm done, I'm gonna be doing things pretty much how they were before I lose my little break. I really should get. Yeah, I gotta get used to the feel of the game again. Okay. Okay, the dogs are hunting me. And so are the ogres. Yeah, they can actually jump. I forgot that was like a feature of Wake's engine. Okay. Okay, I can... I'm already at home here. Yeah, this is basically the same kind of comment you would see in, you know, Doom. Okay. I do have the Thunderbolt here. Okay, I think there's more than one Shimbler. Yeah, there is. That's okay. Okay. Okay, let's follow the man slightly. And yeah, this is a little bit tense, isn't it? Shamblers are pretty much just quakes or arch miles, except they don't resurrect monsters. So they're 
much easier to actually defeat. Okay. Could have done that a little bit better. Took as nails, hard as concrete. Okay. Time to leave. Oh, but do I really need you? It's so pretty in here. And I'm missing... Oh, I actually got both secrets. Yeah, not bad. This is the first time I actually played Quake in a long time. And, but that's it. I'm just gonna come back here and... Well, let's just look at some of the architecture here because for realism, this is actually quite lively. Well, yeah, the lights really do go a long way in making it look so cool. So, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the final channel update for a little while now. But, yeah, I'm just very happy to say that, yeah, I'm back in business. You guys can expect a whole bunch more stuff going on in the future. Including more games that are not Doom, but... Doom will still be there, no need to worry about that. And okay, let's venture back into the void. So yeah, that's, well, now it's not going to be the first part of anything, I just wanted to make this video to, you know, get it out there that I'm actually going to be playing something a little bit different. And yeah, let's go back here and... Well, I'm going to talk a little bit more as I show off this mega structure here, which is actually really cool. And it's really tall, and I think you can go up. Yeah, you can go up quite a ways in this map. And this is just like the introduction map on its own. Luminality, Garden Foundry, Void Corp. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing these maps at some point in the future. And get this, it goes down too. Okay, is there any way to get down there relatively safely? There is. Oh. Okay then. The next hole I take will kill me, so let's do this in big style. Oh. Huh? Well, okay then, that's not anything I expected, there's a spawn down there, maybe two, okay, and something blew up when I jumped here, I don't know, maybe there was something that I some trigger that I reached that made all the spawns and spawn here and I don't really know. Okay. But what I do want to show you guys is that if you fall down here and don't kill yourself in the process because it's a bunch of long falls and fall damage and quake, well, it is a thing that exists. But okay, here we are at the bottom. Okay, so the spawn is hidden in the sand castle I was trying to show. And I got one out of one kills. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like just how big this map is. And I don't think there's an actual way to get back, back upstairs. Or it's just that single white door. Well, let's just go through it anyway and find out together. Yeah, this is how I get back here to the start. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as I said, there is going to be more stuff coming in the future. Until then, just give me a little while to get the backlog going and things will be back to normal as if nothing had ever happened. So, yeah. Oh, I actually quit my accent. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye and stay safe out there.